the major differences? Why should I really upgrade from Canon EOS R to R5? First thing for me is the in-body stabilization, which none of the cameras which I have used, the Canon cameras has. I think Sony or other brands do have that. I have never used a camera which has an in-body stabilization. It's very difficult for us to carry gimbals when we are vloggers, when we are traveling and we are making travel videos. Practically, I got a gimbal with me, but I have never used it properly. It's really tough to carry an additional gadget. But if your camera is having in-body stabilization, that would make a really big difference. I have not practically used it. I don't know how the output would be, but definitely uh, what I have read and what I have heard about, it should make a big difference in shooting stable footages. The second thing is the 4K which it shoots will not have crop. My camera currently, the EOS R has 4K, but it has a crop factor. In Canon EOS R5, you can shoot 4K and 8K. Definitely, I'm not going to shoot on 8K. 8K usually for movies, they shoot. And even you can have a 8K footage shot and for your backup or for future use. But let me tell you, I have heard, even this on this, I never shoot 4K. Very rarely I shoot when I have to crop something and get a small shot out of that. I may use 4K. Other than that, I usually shoot on 1080p at uh, 24 frames per second and sometimes 30 frames per second. For some times like the slow motions which I want to take, I use the high frame rate. Otherwise, mostly it would be like I use the 24 frames per second uh, shooting or sometimes 30 frames per second. As of now, this video I'm shooting 30 frames per second. The second thing is the autofocus, which is really very important when you are walking around and shooting autofocus should be very reliable many times what happens is when we are shooting talking looking at the lens because we need to look at the lens when we are talking i cannot keep looking at the screen and check whether if the autofocus is correct now i looked at the screen it looks odd always when i need to talk to people i need to look at the lens that's very important and many times what happens is the focus shifts and uh, something else is on focus and my face get blurs it happens but again it's because of light or because of some settings but it seems the autofocus in canon eos r5 is much much better then the photos frames per second automatically you can shoot up to 20 frames per second that's not so important for me especially people who are into wildlife photography or sports photography it would be really great and the megapixel is 45 megapixel this is i think 20 megapixel uh, you can really get very good quality images and uh, very important thing I will be able to shoot on C-Log in Canon EOS R5 R6 C-Log is not available that's the reason I am not going for R6 and moreover I would want to go for the best upgrade because I won't be upgrading for next few years so R5 would be the best upgrade I can uh, find now then the biggest thing is you can shoot at very high frame rate for slow motions at 1080p, 4K as well as 8K. If 4K you are able to shoot on very high frame rate, it's going to be really helpful for videos. If you can take your videos to a very different level. There are so many new features which they are introducing in this uh, two cameras. Uh, for me, basically these are the main things which I am looking forward to use the Canon EOS R5. Canon EOS R is the best camera I have used till now. It's really great, it's really strong, really nice camera. I would advise if anybody wants to upgrade. Canon EOS R is really good. You can shoot on Canon Log and you, if you're interested in doing color grading, that's the best thing. Because if you're shooting in raw format, that the log format, you can do the color grading really well. The dynamic range is really high to adjust all the information and one more very important thing about canon eos r5 is the one which is coming is that you can shoot 4k with 8k data means in your 4k footage which means that the 4k footage is created using the 8k data the 4k videos will have really tons of information to process to create your final video that would really be interesting to work on i don't know how it would be but as far as what i understood if a 4k footage is having 8k data it would be really great to process the videos you can really do 
wonders using those videos so now when can i get this camera it's been announced august 1st is the date on which we will get it in india i have pre-ordered it i may get it in the first lot or i don't know because of the current lockdowns i don't know how things are going to uh, be transported and um, maybe it may be a bit late but i am trying to get it the canon eos r5 and uh, once i get it i'll show you i'll do the unboxing in front of you and after that i'll use for some time days and let you know how the camera is my opinion one more very important thing which everybody should know i will share my experience once i start using it even in on this camera i cannot continuously shoot 4k what happens is the camera becomes hot because of heat the camera gets locked and you cannot use it for few minutes unless it comes to the normal temperature if you are working in a hot temperature then it would be really difficult to continuously shoot 4k same problem is there in the canon eos r5 if you are going to shoot continuously on 4k or 8k your camera gets hot and you have to wait till it cools down it takes around 10 15 20 minutes so you the shoot is interrupted you cannot use the camera so that is something which is a known problem and let me tell you this is not really a full-fledged movie camera you can shoot um, some shots like if you're traveling uh, what i do is even on this i shoot 4k but maybe one or two scenes or something which i really want to uh, enlarge and take a crop it and take a part of that video i do shoot on 4k that's really helpful usually i process all my videos and 1080p and then finally when I export it I convert it to 4k and export it that's the way I am using it because you need really strong hardware to work on 4k and 8k 8k I don't know it will be really difficult for you using with a normal MacBook Pro or MacBook so uh, I don't think that we would be shooting on 8k or 4k very often for some reasons we may be shooting on 4k or 8k that is a known factor so i will be buying the camera knowing that okay i won't be continuously using 4k and 8k for me 1080p is fine some scenes i may be shooting on 4k maybe a one minute shot or two minute shots remaining i'll go back to my 1080p so heating up would, would never be a problem this camera i have used like anything i have traveled to different places made so many travel vlogs completely shot on this and this camera has never ditched me so i really trust Canon products and um, definitely I'm going to try this waiting for the camera I'll share my experience once I get it I'll, I'll definitely update you once I receive it and um, start using it I would want to hear from you guys if it's really important for you to upgrade your camera or have a high-end camera this is really a very high-end camera for just making vlogs you really don't need any of these kind of cameras you just need a simple camera a canon 80d or a 90d or a 200d is more than enough if you are interested in using dslr otherwise a canon g7x mark 3 is the best for making vlogs you can shoot you can edit it very fast and publish it that's all but if you're looking for something creative if you're looking to do color grading if you're do, looking to make cinematic videos to a different level then something like this is really important which can shoot in log format the cinema format so that's all for now bye take care